India has reported its first BF7 variant Omicron uh, COVID-19 case. Uh, this case has been reported from Gujarat, where a 61-year-old woman who returned from the US has been infected with this particular variant. Remember, this is uh, the dominant strain that is wreaking havoc in uh, China, where uh, COVID cases are on a rise. There is a sudden uptick that we are seeing in cases uh, of this particular variant across the world, not just in China, in fact, in the US and Japan as well. Janak, my colleague, now joins us for more on this. Janak, what can you give us more information about this case? Look, from America, a woman in the age of 60 years, she came to the age of 60 years, and when Corona was infected, she had to do the genome sequencing. Now, she has asked the question of the variant, which is in China and South America, वहाँ कोरिया में हमने जो देखा जिस तरीके का अनरेस्ट वहाँ पर है वो वेरिएंट बीएफ एवं जिसे कहते हैं वो वेरिएंट यहाँ पर पाया गया है उसके बाद आज स्वास्थ्य मंत्रालय की ओर से जैसे केंद्र सरकार ने अपने स्वास्थ्य मंत्रालय की मीटिंग ली थी आला अफसरों की और एक गाइडलाइन जारी की बिल्कुल उसी तरीके से गुजरात के स्वास्थ्य मंत्रालय ने भी एक मीटिंग ली है और लोगों से हिदायत दी कि अपने जो बूस्टर डोज है वो लें और चूंकि अब जिनम सिक्वेंसिंग में ये इस पर स्पोर्टी हुई है कि हमारे बीच में ही बी एफ सेवन का भी वेरियंट है अभी तो ऐसे में और ज्यादा ये फैले और कोई घातक साबित न हो और उसके लिए एहतियात कदम उठाए जाने चाहिए और इसी के चलते लोगों को ये हिदायत दी जा रही है कि लोग अगर भीड़ में जा रहे हैं तो मास्क पहने वीके पॉल नीति आयोग के जो सदस्य हैं उन्होंने भी आज यही बात पर जोर दिया था कि जो जिनका बूस्टर डोज लेना है चूंकि तैतीस फीसदी लोग ही ने ही बूस्टर डोज लिया है तो ऐसे में वो लोग भी बूस्टर डोज ले तो इस तरीके से राज्य सरकार की ओर से भी एहतियातन कदम उठाने का भरोसा या दावा किया गया है जी जनक धन्यवाद हमसे बात करने के लिए एंड फॉर गिविंग अस दोस डिटेल्स शेरिन माय कॉलीग आल्सो विद अस ऑन दिस ब्रॉडकास्ट फॉर मोर ऑन दैट एंड शेरिन द यूनियन हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री जस्ट दिस आफ्टरनून हेल्ड एन एक्सॉस्टिव मीटिंग ऑफ द नेशनल टास्क फोर्स ऑफ सेवरल ऑफ द एक्सपर्ट्स ऑफ द स्टेप्स दैट नीड टू बी टेकन हेंस फॉर्थ द फर्स्ट बीएफ सेवन वेरिएंट ऑफ माइक्रोन हैज नाउ बीन रिपोर्टेड फ्रॉम द कंट्री हाउ वरिसम वुड दैट बी Uh, well, Poonam, if you remember, after the meeting that you mentioned, uh, there was in fact a statement by VK Paul in which he had mentioned that there are about three samples, uh, positive samples of COVID-19 that has been sent for genome sequencing. And one such sample now has in fact been confirmed that it, has, uh, uh, it, it is in fact a case of a BS, BF7. Now, BS7 is in fact uh, the COVID variant that has emerged in China as well, where uh, we are seeing that the situation is uh, going out of control, where it is becoming a burden for the hospitals, uh, for uh, the entire government as well. But with, with BF7 being prevalent in India, how much are vaccines, COVID vac uh, co uh, COVID shield and co-vaccine, how much are they uh, you know, capable of uh, uh, containing this infection is the prime question that will be asked at the point. Uh, though the government has assured that BF7 at the moment, uh, the, the vaccines that are present in India are very much able to fight any sort of sub-variant of Omicron. Now, BF7 is the sub-variant of Omicron and uh, like it is uh, you know, creating havoc in China, in Japan and Korea, will the situation get worse? But uh, the government of India has in fact assured the public that uh, the situation in India is under control because we have a natural herd immunity that we have attained after the first, second wave. The recent Omicron wave after that also we have achieved the herd immunity. Hence the situation is under control but at the same time all the protocols and guidelines which are already existing in place need to be implemented and need to be strictly followed to ensure that in coming days the situation doesn't go out of hand. Absolutely, because uh, we're given to understand that this variant of uh, the Omicron strain is uh, perhaps more infectious than the previous ones. Now, uh, we did have certain uh, recommendations that were made after that key meeting as well. We're given to understand, Sharin, that uh, random testing is also going to take place for international passengers at certain airports in the country. Well, that is right, because uh, if you see, there are in fact a demand that has been made by several, uh, you know, opposition party leaders as well, uh, several experts also suggesting that given the situation in China, uh, there should in fact be a strict monitoring at the international airports. Uh, keeping that in mind, uh, the sources within the health ministry has in fact been telling us that there is in fact, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a request has in fact gone to the airport authorities to ensure that a random sample testing is done. Remember the ran uh, random ta sample testing was also done in 2020, 2021 as well. It was stopped only recently after uh, the, there was a dip in the positivity rate in India because if, uh, right now the positivity rate is about 0.1%, uh, which is very low. 
seeing that uh, the random sample testing was stopped but once again to be very careful to be very alert with the situation that we are going through the once again a random sampling test will be done at all international airports is what the uh, sources within the health ministry have been saying Right, Sharon, thank you so much for getting us the latest. Uh, the first case has been reported of this particular variant, though at the moment everything is under control is the assurance that has come to the fore from the central government for the health ministry as well. But of course, guard needs to be up for every single Indian to ensure that we do not see a resurgence of cases.